Okay, for the last video, I'm going to show you how to do the background and finish it off. So I want to point out a couple of things that I've done since um, that last video. This is where I left you off at. Um, and you can see I played around with the um, hair, a little bit of the shadows, added some darks in there. And that's all stuff that nothing has changed with how to go about doing that. Um, so I didn't want you to sit there because I, I sat there and just dinked with it for a while. Um, and it totally looks different than the first one I did. So they all turn out unique and they all turn out individual. Um, so a lot of the face and the bangs I use that, um, where you select it and you go in and you customize, look at all these custom colors I've been making, um, to make these transparents and to take a color and make it darker or lighter depending on what I'm doing. So that's all I did. Um, I will tell you a couple of tricks. Um, one, you can see I totally did the eyes just how I wanted to do eyes. They're not perfect, but I know that eyes are round orbs. They're spherical shape. Um, there are certain things I know, so I'm able to create it like that. Obviously, I like the transparent layers layering on top. That's my preference. That doesn't mean it has to be yours. Um, when I did the uh, Afro bangs, I found I needed this kind of color. And what that is, is it's one of those reds and um, kind of a purpley red. And I muted it down. Um, and I just like that. And that's just my preference. But what I, one of the things I was going to say is some of these eye shapes, when they get really small, I kind of make them bigger. And then I do that double click. And then I move the points how I need them. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes to do the mouse that small. And then also if there was a color I like, like if I like that color and I wanted it elsewhere, I would copy and paste it and then readjust the, um, the um, handles if I needed it. So let's get into uh, finishing off Mr. Ross here. So let me get back to fit and size. So once you're happy with it, um, you can get rid of the photo and I'm going to get rid of that one. So hang on a sec. All right. So I'm left with Mr. Ross. Oh, I also forgot to point out, I mess with the teeth a lot. The teeth are hard to do. Um, well, I found them hard to do. So the first thing I want to do is select everything in there look at all those lines and I want to tell it to group. I want this to be an image that I can scale up and down and I want to make it a little bit bigger. And so I'm going to again hold my shift key down so that I can increase it to be about like that. Um, if you don't hold your shift key down, you squish Bob Ross. Okay, let's not do that. So, and now we can mess with the background. I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. I don't quite want to have that large on the screen. Move that over. You mess with for a little bit. Bob Ross is known for painting happy little trees. Um, people have been telling me he's on Netflix. Um, you should watch him. If you want to do a solid background, you can come in here and you could just drop uh, a green background in. Boom. Um, that's a really nice look, especially with that. But I kind of like the um, more fun uh, picture background. So if you want to do that, um, I'll show you how in just a sec. So with background, you could again do custom. If you want to play with your gradients, um, you could do a gradient. Um, you know, Bob Ross, you could, you could play around with that. So I like to insert a photo. And so I want to go to image and I want to go to, um, search the web. So I'm looking for landscape trees. Ooh, look at these happy little trees. And I'm going to just scroll around. Um, and which one says Bob Ross to me? Well, you know, I like this one, but I don't like the color, but I can, I can deal with that. So I double clicked it and I'm going to put it up there and I'm going to hold the shift key down and scale it. It's okay. That's a little bit bigger and I'm going to, so I'm selecting it. I'm going to arrange and I'm going to go to arrange, send it to the back. 
and it's going to cover up that green background back there. Um, so I don't like that color. It's really yellow for me. So I can mess with that. So let's go to format options right here. And we're going to go to recolor. And it says no color. Well, heck man. Ooh. Ah. You can sit here and play with it. And if you decide, that looks nice. Um, if you decide you don't like that, then you can always try something else. So you can add those. Um, it basically does like a color overlay. Here's an inverse of it. Um, and so, and if you don't like that, I can come here to replace image. And again, I can just go search from web and say, I want a rainbow. There's my W unicorn. Oh, that's just perfect. So put that in there. No, that's not perfect. Why is it not perfect? Cause Bob Ross is covering the thing. So, um, maybe I move Bob Ross to that side, you know, so you can sit there and play around and find it. And, um, if you don't like that, just go replace image, search from web again, yada, yada, yada. Um, you will need to crop that down to be the right size of the page. You can see where my page is right there. All right, once you've cropped it down, what you're going to do is go into Google Classroom. This is a Google product, so it's already saved, and you just need to click Turn In. All right, so have fun um, and enjoy. Remember, everyone's, even though we're all doing the same picture, are going to look different.